Hello and welcome to Guided Goodness. Do you want to know? How Albert Einstein, spent his leisure time? Then let's start, by talking a little bit about, him first. Albert Einstein is considered, as the most influential and recognizable scientist, of the 20th century. He presented, the theory of relativity, which changed our prior concepts, regarding space, and time. This theory now serves as one of the two pillars of modern physics, the other one being quantum theory. Albert Einstein was a hard worker. Besides the hard work, he always used to take some time off. He worked for 10 hours a day, six days a week. He also had the immense capability to focus on work for extended times. He used to say, keep in mind that besides the eight hours of work, each day also has eight hours for fooling around. And then there's also Sunday. He was of the idea that busy people can never do wonders in their life. Something great happens when a person is relaxing. Taking some time off provides a vital escape from the laborious life a scientist has. Staring up at the sky, hiking above the mountain, walking across the sea are some tranquilizing practices. He once said, I have no special talents. I am only passionately curious. Some of the unusual patterns in Albert Einstein's life and his exercises to relax the mind are said to play a part in his productivity. He was an incredibly talented musician. He got the germs of music from his mother, who was a talented piano player. He used to spend hours playing the violin while he went bird watching. He said, I often think in music. I live my daydreams in music. I see my life in terms of music. Also I know, that the most joy in my life, has come to me, from my violin. It was perceived, by his close acquaintances, that if the career of being a scientist, had not worked out for him, he could have been a world-class violinist. Playing an instrument, could be a wonderful exercise for the brain. It enhances cognitive skills, time management, concentration, and creativity, as it uses every part of the brain. His wife, Elsa said, he goes to his study, comes back, strikes a few chords on the piano, jots something down, and returns to his study. He used to sleep, for at least 10 hours per day. That's more than an average American now, at approx 7 hours. It's a well-known fact, that sleep, is good for brain activity. In the case of Einstein, this time scale was meaningful, as, his special theory of relativity, came to him, during his dream. Einstein had a dream, about an elevator, falling in space. While he was near the mountainside, going so fast, that eventually, he was close to the speed of light. The stars, and other objects in his dream, changed their appearance at that moment. He awoke, and meditated, on this dream. Soon, he formulated a theory, which is among the most beautiful scientific theories, in the history of science. And that, changed humanity's perspective, on space, time, gravity, as well as the mechanics of the universe. A lot of scientists, claim that they can do, use of dreams. That basically allows you, to be conscious, while dreaming. This helps them, in visualizing science. The daily walk, was mandatory for him, while he was working at Princeton University. He used to travel, the one and a half mile distance, on foot. On campus, when he would come up with an idea. He would enter the nearby classroom, and trace out the equation, about the recent thought, on the blackboard. Then he would discard the work, and continue the walk. Walking in general, can distract the brain, in a way that can boost its memory power, and improve problem-solving skills. It nudges you, to take a different approach to transform, your regular thinking pattern. Einstein said, we can't solve our problems, with the same thinking we used, when we created them. Einstein loved, to answer the mails he received, from his fans. Especially from children. In one letter, a young girl, wrote about her difficulty with understanding mathematics. He supposedly wrote back, Do not worry, about your difficulty in mathematics. I can assure you, mine are still greater. He always wrote back the mails, with encouragement, and humbleness. Einstein loved sailing. He started sailing, when he was an undergraduate student, in Zurich. Although he was not so good at it, 
He required a rescue, many times, due to his unstable grip. Time and again, he would get lost on the way and then return, a few hours later. Due to bad repute, his sailboat became famous, with the name Tai Neff. Which means, worthless or junk. To reveal the secrets, of nature. We need to get away, from our daily life routines and observe. The vastness of the universe. Nowadays, we live in a world, that appreciates, overdoing, and overworking. And because of this. People try to do as much as possible. While burying their inner selves. They create, unrealistic expectations, about their to-do list. Which ultimately lead to stress, disappointments, and depression. We have now lost sight, of the true meaning of productivity. Productivity is not about getting more things done. Rather, it is about getting, the right things done enjoying one's own company. And solitude, is very important, to discover insightful solutions, to most of our problems. It enhances our output, as well as our decision making, in day-to-day life. If we look back, at history, there is a list of great thinkers, leaders, and scientists, who commonly seek solitude, to shape their thinking. Leonardo da Vinci, Martin Luther King, Nikola Tesla, and Ernest Hemingway, are only a few of them. Hmm. This. Is so enriching. The genius, spent the final years of life, doing what he wanted to do. Working on the unified theory. The theory of everything. Sailing. And enjoying life. On his 75th birthday, he received a parrot as a gift. He loved talking to him, and telling him jokes. Albert Einstein? Was not only an intellectual. But also? A philosopher and a humanitarian. He is known, as the father of modern physics, and was called, the greatest Jew alive. Hit the like button, if you're inspired by his leisurely activities. It really supports the channel. And subscribe for more goodness. Check out our channel page for more wisdom and more goodness. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.